Wheel Gun Wednesday, baby. <laughs> What just happened? So, real life experience of what can happen. Just had a Just had a So, what we have here is a bullet that jumped the crimp. Because this gun is scandium and super lightweight, it's probably a little bit more prone to do that, especially on perhaps Reloaded ammo. I could have swore this was factory federal, but it is definitely old very very old and uh, People always want to say oh wheel guns are the most reliable thing in the world and typically they are But when something like this happens the gun is literally inoperable because the bullet is protruding past the cylinder and The forcing cone is not allowing it to rotate into position to be fired So this entire gun is locked up and for most people will take a gunsmith to fix We're gonna get this thing out of there but uh, just goes to show, can't fix that with a tap rack bang. So we got her out. This was the round. You can push it in, pull it out. It was crimped, and crimping ain't easy. But uh, yeah, no big deal. Obviously, we were on the range, not in a gunfight. But a lot of people don't realize that that is something you do have to worry about with wheel guns. Now, because, again, this is a scandium frame and it's much lighter, um, the import of recoil onto, you know, the projectiles in the, uh, the cylinder is probably a little bit more than it would be on a steel gun. And uh, you could shake them loose. Now, those are probably reloads. They look like factory Federals to me. I've definitely shot this ammo before but if it is factory it's extremely old but probably reloaded but got the ammo for free either way guns fine and we're having fun all right we are back here on the range with uh, some more bubba fud reloads Let's see how she goes So we're grouping. A couple of these were from the 357. Those things were pretty spicy, obviously. But uh, with the 38, she's grouping pretty good, taking a six o'clock hold. But uh, yeah, this thing is sick, and it shoots.